Got out the back door. An opportunity for Super Goal. Unselfishly to Kennedy. He marks, can go over the top to Maston. Did the right thing. And he'll line up Kennedy. He used the ball well, and uh, decision-making under pressure was very good. This was a good kick, just out in front, and uh, that hit Lacroix. Lays out, once again, vision again. Look where the player was free, and hit him up. 23 years of age, Josh Kennedy. In the shade of that triple-tier stand there at the Subiaco end of this ground, comes in, just casually, nonchalantly, but a nice little guided kick. West Coast get the first. Love his name. Long left foot, Ken. Here's Kennedy. It was a well-weighted kick. Opportunity, Lacroix. Bread and butter for him. Well, you're a big fan of Ashton Hams's name, but it was actually good positioning. There was a kick, I think it was from Brown, it went long towards Kennedy, and Hams had positioned himself to get the spill of the ball, and he picked it up nicely and then driven it in long to it was actually Kennedy deep, and a very nice goal from a tight angle. And the West Coast Eagles seem confident. Been They're through there. Extreme. Opportunity now with Gold Coast come. Michael Hunt with the tackle. Ball spills loose. Oh, Maston. Look at Cox in the goal square. So at the, ruck, at the moment, the Ruckman playing off each other. Cox gets the goal as a result. Nat Nui's got to jump for this. He's looking dangerous. He gets a wind up here, Nat Nui. Gives up halfway. Morning, Hit the Cox. Cox. And a, you're right, free kick, Dean Cox way for the hold. You can hear the crowd getting involved with the free kicks. And that one looked like it was there to the naked eye. But it's 10 5, the free kick count now in favour of Gold Coast. Just taken out of it by McKenzie Thanks, just mate, before yeah. he had a chance to fly. Thanks, mate. Just push out. And that's just giving away extra size. You mean you're conscious you yep. don't want to allow your bigger opponent to have a fly at the ball. Cox to give the Eagles the lead again by half a goal. And he does that, the big fella. Dean Cox nails it. West Coast by three. Dicks it out in front of Kennedy. Got some work here. Cracker to do to close down Kennedy. Kennedy very agile. Oh, Little left foot kick around the corner to hands. Oh. Mark strongly. Well done, Kennedy and Hams. Yeah, spot on, Brian. Great work from Kennedy on the left slipper to hit up Hams and then strong hands to take the mark. So he knew that he was under a lot of pressure from Cracker here, but just a little 20-metre pass and he's hit the target. Terrific and mark, wasn't it? Good mark under pressure. It was Joey Day there coming over the back. Ashton Hams, as you can see there, from the Bustleton Magpies. A couple of hours south of Perth comes in on the left Ashton Hams good looking ball so that's a margin now of nine points for the West Coast the Eagles players, skills aren't fantastic there's Rosa Kennedy in front Hams dropped the mark he probably should have taken well. look at the Ebert. clean ball work there from Ebert strolls in kicks the goal Eagles by 15 points well, funny little kick tape involved Crackers caught in the tackle. Oh, he's given him a whack to go with it as yeah. well, Wilson, the sub. Oh, reverse this. I think he's given him one to the mush. Yeah, he has no doubt about that. Crackers got the wrong man. Oh. Crackers got Prittis and giving him a couple of jumper punches to go on with. But I think it was Wilson that got Cracker. It definitely was Wilson that came over the top. They should have reversed it, but in the end, Crackers caused a 50-metre penalty. Heavy tackle, then a little bit to go on with. So Nathan Cracker being pulled out of the action there by Harley Bennell. And poor old Prittis. Well, it's not poor old Prittis. He's going to kick a goal. Selwood will cop one in the mush if he doesn't watch it as Cracker comes off the ground as well. Oh, he's not happy with the crowd. Giving the crowd a bit of a bit of lip too. In the meantime, Callum Wilson steps to the line and will kick a certain goal. A little unlucky was Cracker because he did cop one in the mush when lying on the ground. Wilson kicks the goal. Rosa on the running slide. Long ball, Kennedy in front, took the mark. Lost him in the air that time, did code the defender. And Kennedy is marked. 50 out. Well, that was fantastic work. It was perfect for a, a full forward. Just got rid of his uh, direct opponent, then still had that three or four metres to run into the ball. Kennedy, there it is, with the little singer sewing machine run up. Kick on the way. Good looking ball from Kennedy. Salutes the crowd. Got the goal. Kennedy's got a couple. And it Orange did well in the body there. Just bodied the bigger Lynch out of the way. A lot of West Coast players around this one. The dangerous Prudus. 
Handball off to Ashton Hams. Squares it up. Nat Nui in the square. Carmichael Hunt. He recovered just an inch earlier. Carmichael Hunt still on the ground. Nat Nui got it. A little lucky. Well, it was good work from Carmichael Hunt to start with. I mean, Nat Nui, you thought, might have had the extra strength and size to push him out of the road. Hunt has forced the ball to ground, as we see here. But Nat Nui's athleticism to get up again. And got to his feet and towed it through. It's fantastic work. Good contest. But uh, that was the fear that oh, West Coast Nick Eagles... Harbrow just with the one hand. Just holding the ball. Just hasn't been able to do things like an experienced player in this game today. Shot a goal. The result here. And Rosa involved in the end. And a bad mistake there from Gold Coast. There yeah, the turnover cost them on that occasion and probably the thing that's been lacking just uh, the ability to kick goals at the other end see the pick up here and obviously plenty of time to get rid of that one and the west coast eagles have been, been able to capitalize very good goal nice shot from that sort of distance out they missed a few against the best in the competition spot in the grand final the nab cup on offer and it just requires them to win on their home ground next week shot a goal there and oh, yeah. It is nailed from Ebert, and so a 31-point West Coast lead here now with a minute and three quarters remaining in the game. Yeah, look, it's a good effort in the end by the West Coast. I don't think they've had it all their own way. I mean, Gold Coast have been very good, this young team. But there's been some promising signs this afternoon by the West Coast. And what they will get next week is a good look at the best team in the AFL on their home Diggs here at uh, Subi. Oh, he, he's he's like made a few like moves, moves, but he's been nice and tough in the air. Very hard. One last opportunity here for a goal. Gaff. And Good Gaff has kicked it on his yep. familiar left foot to finish it off with about 30 seconds remaining. Yeah, we've seen a lot of talent uh, for the Gold Coast, but uh, this kid is an uh, absolute ripper. And uh, he's in the Chris Judd number three jumper. Obviously, Big Raps picked four in the national draft for this season, and uh, he's a talented kid. Give him a bit of time over the next couple of seasons, but he's going to come up to be a top liner. Well, he's an accumulator of the footy, isn't he? He reads the game well and got terrific endurance. So he's got all the right attributes.